All right, so we're about to go over one of these workouts that I did at the CrossFit Games last year. And I chose this one because, man, there's a lot to tell about this workout. Um, it was uh, Elizabeth Elevated, so um, I was in Heat 4, and it also was, I think, the fourth workout, oh yeah, Event 4 of the CrossFit Games last year. But it was actually only our third workout of the weekend because the second workout of that weekend had actually been pushed back to the next day due to weather. So um, we've started here, but what I wanted to talk to you about is I wanted to actually go back to the warm up area. So prior to this workout, event two had happened and I actually made a huge mistake where I stuffed up on my single jumps and I never was able to progress through to the next stage of that workout. So I ended up placing uh, low 20s, I think it was like 22nd or 23rd. In my eyes, it was like horrendous. Like that was the worst, um, I should never have placed that low. And um, especially for that workout, I was really looking forward to it. It was very high skill, something that we've never really done before. Um, for me, in primary school, we did double under cross crossovers and everything like that. Um, I actually was a part of the Skipper Roos team in my primary school days. Um, so, you know, it was really cool to be able to do something very different. Um, I hadn't touched one of those um, skipping skills in such a long time. So, you know, to be only doing it in the warm up area and then to actually go out and do it in a, a workout was going to be very, very different. Um, and I was excited to be able to test that. Uh, but obviously didn't go to plan and um, I was extremely pissed. So um, in my eyes, I also had to like, have, I had a bit of redemption to, to make up for. So when I took the four, oh, hang on, Will. We're talking here, girl. So, what happened was, is I, um, in the warm up area, we're warming up and Shane's like, all right, this is obviously very lightweight for you in the squat queens. Um, the dips and the traverse bars, obviously not something that we have tapped into, but we do a lot of dip volume, um, but you need to just make sure that you um, play the game and don't go out too hot. And I said, Shane, no, nah, I'm gonna win this workout and like I know what I'm capable of doing, um, but I, I wanna like make up for the mistake that I just made in the previous event. And he said, Tia, I need you to calm down. I need you to just stay level-headed. I know what you're capable of doing, but you do not need to win this. And you can win it, but you don't have to go out as hot as what you want to. And I said, it's fine. My body can make keep up with it. I know exactly what I need to do. And he said, Tia, like, I'm telling you now, like Shane and I were going back and forth and he was trying to calm me down and I just wanted to unleash. Like I was, like no one was stopping me or getting in my way except for me. And uh, it's it's just so crazy because I look back now and I think, oh my God, Tia, you, it was your ego talking a lot of the time. And you know, we're here, we're three minutes and 33 seconds in and I'm, you know, going touch and goes on the squat cleans because they're nothing. Running within my transitions, which is very typical of me and everything. Um, but what I wasn't accounting for was just with this type of workout, you do need to actually like put your ego aside and just slowly go through the workout and then bring it at the end. And I see my family here and you know, like they're, they're always on the edge, you know, like they just love watching me compete and everything. Um, but they also know how much time and energy I've put into uh, my training and preparing for the CrossFit Games. Um, they just get so passionate as well. So I have Ariel uh, Lowen, like right next to me, um, and she is absolutely crushing it. Um, there's a, another couple of girls down the line, but I wasn't even looking at them. Um, and it's so crazy through the whole workout like my mind was still racing to absolutely attack it just the way i was telling shane in the warm-up area um but it got to a point where like my arms just could no longer uh perform the dips the way i wanted 
and it's it's such a weird feeling you know like your mind just wants to keep performing and just keep attacking but when your body physically just can't keep going there's nothing else that you can do um and i just pushed myself so far like too early in the workout that um i literally had to like do nothing but just stop and wait and um, we're in the 15s now, so we're just about to go through the nines. And um, Ariel and I are actually going to touch and touch and go together, like rep for rep. Well, and I'm one was last time that you hadn't won the leader's jersey on day two. Do you remember? Oh gosh, when I think about it, I can't remember the last time. Maybe in like 20. 2018, 2017 was the last time that I hadn't had the Bleeders jersey. And that also just makes me, that's probably contributed to me also being so fired up, you know, like in my eyes, I was like, that's, that's my uniform. Like someone else has my uniform. And it's so funny because Shane actually was, I was calling out to Shane in the warm up area at one point and like, I'm literally watching him be like, where is she? because he was looking for me in the white and red uniform. He wasn't used to me wearing uh, like just like the typical CrossFit Games uniform that we normally get from Noble. And he's like, I, I completely forgot and like completely had lost you. And I'd been calling him for like so long. So Ariel has actually just like overtaken me here. And you can see her technique with how she's actually walking on the bars compared to me. I'm taking a lot longer of a time because I'm trying to be very precise, um, which is not the way to go, especially with the the aggression that I was attacking the workout in. Um, I was, I, I had a lot of time under tension there and it was just fatiguing me way more. Whereas you can see her, she is going really fast, making small reps, um, and she doesn't have a lot of time on the bar, which is great because she's, she's saving her arms. And I'm trying to make up ground on the squat cleans, um, which I do, but then it actually elevates my heart rate and then I have to rest even more when it comes to the, the bar. But I tell you what, like, even though it, it wasn't working out in my favor and, and the way I had attended to attack the workout, definitely wasn't playing out. Um, it definitely was like in my mind, I still wasn't giving up. I was still trying to absolutely execute it the best of my ability. But you can see everyone is now catching up to me and I'm literally having to bend over on my knees. I remember even looking up and seeing my family just like, what is happening? And they felt helpless, but they were, it just was so different to anything else that they had ever experienced um, in recent years as, as I've experienced, like gotten more um, experience as an athlete. Um, what goes through your head when you like know you're almost at that point? Truthfully, at this particular point, what went through my head was, oh, I should have listened to Shane, I f***ed up and I am making the biggest rookie mistake because I know better and you know this is a great workout for me. I fell into the trap of just getting too ahead of myself and I realized that I wasn't competing and I wasn't my true self when I was standing out on that floor because I had lost my composure a little bit. But um, at the time, I was like, that's okay. I f***ed up, but I can still come back from this. And so for me, I was like, it's all right. You gotta like now reset. What have you learned in the past? Don't panic, all right? Um, now start being smart and actually, you know, executing the workout the way you should have from the very beginning. Um, and, you know, make sure that you're getting through it. So making sure I wasn't getting any no reps. And throughout the workout, I didn't get any no reps. I just went out so hard at the start that it was just catching up. And, you know, it it was only three dips at a time 
but they are very time consuming and you needed to make sure that um, when you jumped up onto the bars, you needed to be able to do those dips and it was a very long rep. So you needed to make sure you took the appropriate time um, in order to make sure you weren't getting any no reps. And that's, that's what was going on with me, you know. I didn't get any, any no reps, but I had to rest a little bit longer in order to be able to execute that. Um, and it was just such a big mistake that I made. And looking back now, I just think, oh, you fool, you know. Like, it's, it's moments like these that you learn so much from. And, you know, I got a lot from it. However, I should never have put myself in that position because I'm more mature and I've, I should have learned from pre previous mistakes from previous years. Um, but I just got caught up in my own game and, you know, I just, I just really wanted to crush it. And I knew I could and I know I still could, like, I look back and I think, man, I still, I could have won that workout. But I just made a, a big error of going out way too hot. And even like my family and like Sean Woodland here, he's like, whoa, she's still out there, you know? Um, and like I, I was ashamed of this performance for sure because I knew that it wasn't my true potential. Um, <laughs> but my mum, you can tell she's so stressed out. Uh, she's just sitting down looking at the um, score and the time and everything. But uh, I remember when I crossed the finish line actually, Ariel goes, thank you for letting me win. And, I'll, and even that like, of course, like that's amazing and I was really happy for her, but I was like, oh man, that's like rubbing salt in the wounds. But yeah, she crushed that workout and she did very, very well. I just was really pissed because I knew that I made a huge error um, and I had only myself to blame. You know, like Shane was trying to calm me down to start off with, but I wasn't listening. I, I just let my ego um, get the better of me. And uh, it was good though, because now I look back and I think, man, all right, I'm going to never put myself in that position again. Um, doesn't mean that I'm not going to be that aggressive in every workout, it's just I'm gonna be smarter. Um, and it's, it's a reminder that it doesn't matter how much experience you have, you can still make mistakes. Um, you know, and, and sometimes, because you're so confident in what you can do, sometimes it can actually blow up in your face if you still aren't smart enough. Um, so in all, it was really good. And, and I came ninth, which like, that shouldn't happen. So guys, yeah, you know, that workout, it's, it says a lot more um, and, and I learned a lot from that workout. I learned a lot from the previous workout as well but I actually am more disappointed in my performance in this one because the previous one was just a simple mistake and you know, I just, I just stuffed up. But this one, I made a very big mistake and it, I was in full control um, and it, it definitely wasn't the way I should have, uh, you know, planned. Um, and I look back at this workout and I think, man, you know, that was that was appalling to you. Um, you're better than that. So I will definitely be training with that in mind because I definitely don't want to be feeling that again. Um, but if you have any questions or comments, please comment below. There's so much to say about that workout. I just won't ever let that happen again.